It was an awe-inducing moment. 31-year-old Sarah Anderson was walking again. In 2003, she had been hit and paralyzed by a drunk driver. I had just graduated from college, from Cal Poly. It was two weeks after my graduation, and due to this individual's poor decision, I, I, I mean, my future, everything that I had worked so hard for was gone. Sarah is walking thanks to an exobionic suit. It's a computerized bionic exoskeleton that moves her legs as she provides the balance and proper body positioning. I wanted to be a vet. That was my future. And because of sustaining a spinal cord injury nine years ago, all that I'd known and all that I worked for was, was taken away from me in, in a split second. Sarah is not alone. There are 1.275 million Americans affected by spinal cord injury paralysis and 5.6 million affected by some form of paralysis. California is home to 650,000 people living with paralysis. On a national scale, someone suffers a traumatic spinal cord injury every 41 minutes. The cost to California for their care and income loss is upwards of $1 billion annually. Since 2005, motor vehicle crashes have accounted for nearly half of all spinal cord injuries. The number goes up to 56% for children. Research Assembly member Bob Wykowski wants the legislature to bring hope to the people who suffer from paralysis. He's pushing forward Assembly Bill 714, the Roman Reed Spinal Cord Injury Research Fund Act. It's this type of cutting edge uh, uh, research and technology that gives me the energy to say, I, you don't understand, this is really, the seed money is absolutely fantastic. Roman Reed, the namesake of the legislation, was paralyzed in 1994 while playing football in college. Despite being told that he would never walk again, never use his arms, and never father a child, today Roman can bench press 225 pounds, is the proud father of three, and a nationally recognized advocate for research into spinal cord paralysis. When America landed on Mars, when we've already walked on the moon, our paralyzed shall one day walk again. Wykowski's legislation would restore $2 million from the general fund for the Roman Reed Spinal Cord Injury Research Fund. That fund was created in 2000, and for nine years, it supported 129 research projects. In addition to the success of the research, the total of $15.8 million in state funding has brought in over $84 million in federal funds and other grants. I think the benefits are threefold. First, we are providing hope for the 650,000 Californians living with paralysis by demonstrating our commitment, the state of California's commitment, to improving their quality of life. Secondly, we're investing in our best medical professions throughout the University of, uh, University of California, as well as other independent universities. And finally, we are sustaining the state's leadership in the life sciences. Please take a stand for research, take a stand for California, take a stand for the suffering. Take a stand so one day everybody can. I can, I can walk now. It might not be you know, traditional walking, like how most able-bodied people are, but it's walking. And to someone who suffers a spinal cord injury, any kind of walking is a good kind of walking, and I am so grateful and so thankful for this opportunity. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.